Hello tubers, mess cow here. I just went into Bunnings today and bought this stuff. I, um, I had to ask for assistance. I said, where's the polishing buffs? And the guy said, the, uh, the bonnets. I said, no, not the bonnets. I want a wheel to replace a 150mm grinder. And he's like, oh, they're in the section, blah, blah, blah. And he directed me to exactly where the thing I'd asked, I just told him I didn't want. When I couldn't find these things, I went back and said, mate, can you give me a hand? Here they are on my phone. This is the product I'm after. Um, and he's like, oh, look, most put out. And um, was, you know, sort of upset that I'd taken him away from his chat with his co-worker about barking up management's tree to go crook about someone. And I thought, Jesus Christ, mate, that's pretty shitty service. I should have said something. But um, I'm having a whinge now, aren't I? Now, yeah, I've got to take these off and then put this thing on and then uh, they'll go on there like like happy days and I'll probably have to take uh, the shroud off as well because the wheels, I think they'll end up being in the way. Alright, so let's tear this thing apart. Oh, coming apart nice and easy. Testament to uh, well built um, things, you know, the screws will be solid so they're not stripping out when they're a bit tough. What have you got in there? Okay. Ah, that's doing it up. That's rubber. thing back if I want to. Now I'm taking that off. I think I will. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. What's 
What's going on here? They're both left hand, are they? Oh, that's bloody cheeky. Suits left hand side. So it's not a kit to convert both sides. I feel ripped off now. Mm. Man. What a scam. Now I've got to swap the wheels every time I want to polish your butt. Looked up the products and they have a packet with left hand side two and a packet with right hand side two. Why the fluffin' hell would anyone want to buy two of the same side when you're trying to convert an entire thing. So I've got to pay another 23 bucks to buy um, two of the other sides. I don't have two grinders. It's absurd. Taking it on good faith that this thing works and haven't actually tested it yet. Here I am going all the, this effort without uh, plugging it in. Let's see if it's working. Ooh, yeah, it works alright. Beauty. Now, I want to polish up this rock here, not this one, this one, see I've got uh, got a bit of brown right on top of the stone, and I just want to see, you know, how, how well it polishes up. Okay, so, polishing compound. That's the cut. Okay. Geez, these jackets are hard to get into. They go so hardcore on the packaging, it's not like you're going to steal that scungy looking thing. Hanging out a long way. Your fibers out here. What kind of absurdity is this? Look at the thing here. Unreal, isn't it? You buy something, you got to muck around with it to use it. I wonder if it says on the packet some preparation is required. Instruction. Dress the compound across the face. Bring the workpiece into contact. Different metals have varying characteristics and to achieve the best possible results it's essential that correct compound and polishing buffer selected for the job. Well, it doesn't say anything about having to prepare the damn thing. Mm. 
and uh, this thing here says it RPM 2850 and I believe I read that the max RPM is 2850 so it's, there you go it's supposed to be rated for that um, speed so I'm not over revving it I think they ever revved it up in the factory the smart thing to do would be to put it on a thing and rev it up wouldn't it and then trim it in the factory instead of making me do it Josco Australia made in the People's Republic of China okay try again